The Goddard Base Tunnel stretches 35 and a half miles under the Alps in Switzerland. Completed in 2016 after nearly 20 years of construction, the tunnel overtook the Saikan Tunnel in Japan as the longest in the world. Aside from being the longest underground tunnel in the world, it is also the deepest ever constructed. Part of the tunnel bores under Piz Vatjira, a nearly 10,000 foot tall mountain in the Swiss Alps. Underneath the peak of this mountain, the tunnel sits 1.42 miles underneath the surface. That equates to one and a half times the deepest point in the Grand Canyon all sitting over the heads of the passengers on the high-speed trains that travel through the tunnel. The tunnel itself is actually made up of two different tunnels, which run side by side and connect at two different points to allow for interchanges in the case of an emergency in either tunnel. In terms of numbers, 28.2 million long tons of rock were excavated at the equivalent volume of five Great Pyramids of Giza. The end-to-end -end length of the tunnel may just be 35.5 miles, but because there are two tunnels, the total tunnel distance in the project is 94.5 miles. During the first six months of operation, the tunnel transported an average of 9,600 passengers per day, and upon completion in 2016, the tunnel also beat the previous record-holding tunnel in Japan by 2.2 miles. More astounding than the engineering feats of the tunnel is perhaps the total cost of the project. Over 17 years, 9.56 billion Swiss francs were spent on the project, which equates to 9.84 billion US dollars. That's the equivalent cost of building 23.5 Empire State buildings with the price adjusted for inflation. But money wasn't the only sacrifice it took to build this massive tunnel. Nine men lost their lives in the construction of the Goddard Base Tunnel, all from construction-related accidents. Part of the reason the tunnels were bored so deep and thus so difficult to construct has everything to do with the possible grade allowed in the rail design. Engineers had to construct the tunnel at either a negative grade or at an incline below the ruling grade for the high-speed trains on the track. A ruling grade is essentially that, a grade that controls whether a train can travel across a rail line or not. Ruling grades vary by train, but if a train tries to travel over a track steeper than its ruling grade, then its wheels will slip. In the case of the Goddard tunnel, Tunnel, the average grade is just 0.16%, but the maximum grade in certain sections of the tunnel is 6.76%. Engineers went to such great trouble to keep the tunnel and thus the rail line as flat as possible in order to reduce operating costs and increase the safety of the routes. It can be hard to grasp just how massive in length this tunnel is by sheer distance, so let's put it in the context of travel time. It takes the high-speed trains servicing the Goddard Base Tunnel 20 minutes to travel through the tunnel in either direction at an operational speed of 124 miles per hour. If you were to try and play the popular game of holding your breath while traveling through a tunnel, you simply wouldn't be able to make it. While you might not be able to make it, there is one man who could. Alix Segura Vendrell, the current record holder for the longest breath hold at 24 minutes and 3 seconds. So, you might have to be a world record holder to be able to hold your breath through the tunnel, but anyone traveling on the Goddard Line in Switzerland can take the journey through the longest tunnel in the world. It's likely that the Goddard Tunnel won't be dethroned for quite some time. Given the amount of time that each one of these tunneling projects take, and simply the massive amount of money they require to complete, there's no other tunnels slated to overtake the Goddard Tunnel anytime soon. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.